Welcome back. We all witnessed history yesterday, but for some people, the moment felt even more meaningful. For the first time, girls watched as not just a woman, but a woman of color ascended to the, one of the highest Kamala. positions in the land. It was a powerful reminder that representation matters, and it was not lost on those watching around the world. I Kamala Davy Harris, solemnly swear. As millions around the world watch Kamala Harris take the oath of office, I will support and defend the Constitution. There were also plenty of scenes like this one. I'm the one. This is awesome. Girls, women, and people of color watching the moment with a unique perspective. Four-year-old Jolie from Ohio captured hearts on social media when her mom, Sonia, posted this video back in yeah. November. She's going to be the very first woman vice president. So, like, the boss of all the that looks like me. Yeah, that looks like you. <laughs> Can you believe that? It was a short clip, yeah. but long enough to show everyone that representation matters. Jolie, tell me who you're holding and why you like them. Kamala and Joe Biden, and he goes to peak class like me, and Kamala looks like me. She doesn't know Democrat or Republican. You know, she lives in a world of Daniel Tiger and Rapunzel. So it was for her, it was seeing a real person who just happens to be the next vice president that looks like her. And little Jolie isn't the only one. Kids around the country are now writing letters to the White House, all filled with hope. Dear Kamala. Dear Kamala Harris. Dear Miss Harris. Even my own daughter wrote a letter in class. Dear Mr. President and Mrs. Vice President, my name is Claire and I'm eight years old. I know you have plans for the next four years of your life, but I just want to tell you that you're going to make this world unite and make this world full of power. All over social media, there are so many people who see her and see themselves. Kamala! Who can be president? We The hashtag Chucks and Pearls trending all over the country. She's black, I'm black. I hope I could be exactly like her. The moment impacting girls like seven-year-old Lauren from Tennessee. First time she saw her, she screamed, she looks just like me. Why is it important for your daughter to see someone who looks like her? We want her to know that she can do anything in the world. But it's kind of hard to say that when there's never been anyone to, to be in these roles before. Lauren, tell me, why do you, tell me why you like Vice President Kamala Harris. What is it about her that you like? I like her because... She's so brave and strong. The new vice president in a Twitter video crediting her strengths to her mother and the women who came before her. When she came here from India at the age of 19, she maybe didn't quite imagine this moment, but she believed so deeply in an America where a moment like this is possible. If Vice President Kamala Harris could hear you or you could meet her, what would you say to her? I would say, could I give you a big hug? So cute. That little one has her as her screensaver. Wow. And, just, and you know, the, the, the moms and the dads that I talked with, you know, you know, sometimes they say kids say the darndest things, yeah. right? You don't know what's going to come out of their mouths. And so when Jolie said, she looks like me, her mom kind of did a double take because it's not something planned. It was just how quickly that little one, you know, noticed that. And it sows a little seed. You inside. said it. Representation matters. Yeah. It, it matters. It really does. It and really sows a little seed. That's the perfect, mm -hmm. it's the perfect description in these young yeah. girls. Yeah. And I thought her mom, finally, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. It doesn't even matter. At the end of the day, you can recognize um, that this is a trailblazing uh, moment in time. Yeah. By the way, more, more history was made yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's always this talk about an East Coast bias. Kamala Harris, first oh, vice president true. from the West Coast in oh, more than wow. 60 years. That is a really good point. More than 60 years. We talked years. about that. Yeah. So, California, stop your whining. Right. Well, now the work <laughs> begins. That's the thing. Well, now you talked just them again. Uh, of course. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.